Hi, I'm Bill Harvey, and I'm an instructor with Extension Education at University of California at Irvine. And I'm currently teaching two exciting programs. One course is called Workplace Spanish, and the other, Spanish for Healthcare Professionals. And they're both unique programs because they get employees to grab the language that's coming at them extremely fast, understand what's going on, and then respond intelligently after five weeks of training. Now the reason they're unique is because one of the methods I employ is called take-home tips. These are like one-liners, uh, cultural insights, some kind of practice suggestion that they can take home with them. That makes it unique. Anybody can use this tip. You know, Americans, in the North, North Americans, that's what the Latinos call us, we have a tendency to refrain from using our hands when we communicate. Now many cultures in the world use their hands to send signals. And in Spanish, you can actually talk, that's right, talk, without saying a word. Let me give you an example. I'd like you to take your hand and just kind of set it in front of you, extend it in front of you like this and kind of cup it. And if you take your hand and you kind of break the wrist and bring it down like this, this signals, would you come here please? Again, with a smile, you simply cup your hand and bring it down. And by taking your finger upward or moving your fingers in this motion, it could send a different signal. So in the Latin American culture, we may say, hey, could you come here? But they will actually smile and kind of snap the wrist. And at a distance, they'll bring the entire arm down. Yeah, that means come here. Now, there are other hand signals that they use, which I think are really cool. For example, when you talk about the height of a child, for example, you must say, oh, look how big Tommy is growing. By taking my hand and using it this way, I'm sending the signal that an animal is growing big, whereas the finger pointing upward signals, look how tall your child is growing. So you simply say, wow, que grande, no, look. Let's see if you can remember the first one. What does this mean? That's right, it means come here. And do you remember what this means? I just gave it to you. That's right, it signals the height of a child. I'm going to give you one more that I really like. I'd like you to take your fingers like this and kind of pinch them together like this and smile. You can bring them up and down like this and just smile at somebody and go like this. This doesn't mean I speak a little Spanish. No, this means in a little while. In other words, I'm busy. I've got things going on. Can I talk to you in just a moment? Would you, would you just wait just a sec? I'll be right with you. So you simply take your fingers like this to somebody and it means I'll be right there in a little while. So if you approach me and speak quickly, I simply turn and say, I've got to look it up in the dictionary because I don't understand. Quick review of the three. Let's see if you can recall. Number one. Good. It means come here. Number two. Good. Look how tall your child is growing. And number three. Excellent. It means just a moment. Now. Put those hand gestures into practice. It's a great take-home tip.